I'm meteorologist Brianna Mowry at News 19 and we have a new tropical storm to watch. It's tropical storm Umberto. It was just uh, at the latest advisory five o'clock. We now have a 40 mile per hour winds, 50 mile per hour gusts and we are going to be seeing this strengthening as we head into the next several days. But as of now, it's a tropical storm and we are going to continue to see that the path right now is expected to uh, stay pretty much to the away from the US, but we are going to continue to track this very closely by Saturday. It could be a category one hurricane, but it's moving very slowly uh, as it as it strengthens. But once it does become a hurricane, it's going to pick up speed and move faster across the Atlantic. And by Monday it, or really Sunday, it could be a category two hurricane as it makes its way across the Atlantic. But we are going to continue to see those models. They're all sort of hinting at it staying away from uh, South Carolina. So that is good news that uh, you can see the forecast cone there, the official forecast, and then those models. They're all pretty consistent. They all are mostly showing a curvature away from us. We are going to continue to watch this very closely, though, over the next several days in case there are any changes. But looking ahead at those winds, we're still not expecting a whole lot of impacts for winds here in South Carolina, but we are still going to watch this tropical storm or for hurricane force winds still on the lower end chance and really not affecting any land areas, uh, but we could see some of the uh, tropical storm force winds affecting some areas of land, especially Bermuda. They seem to be getting uh, impacts from every storm so far this season. They could see a 20 to 30 percent chance of tropical storm winds by Monday evening as Umberto gets closer to them and by that point likely a hurricane. We are still also watching another area of development and this one is a little closer to the United States. It has a 30% chance of development over the next 48 hours and an 80% chance of development over the next seven days. This one right now right over Puerto Rico. So it is going to be entering some very warm conditions, but here's where those models are hinting at. This one could go right now. It's an invest 94 L that just means the National Hurricane Center is watching it closely. Those seven day tracks are our spaghetti models. They're showing it also curving away, but it gets much closer. So we're also going to be watching this one very closely as well, as it also has a high chance of development and could become another tropical storm. Now looking at sea surface temperatures, this is basically how warm the ocean water is at the surface. So they're very warm for development to occur. You would need the temperatures to be around 80 degrees. But looking at the track of Umberto, it's going to be moving into waters that are well warmer than 80 degrees, which is, is going to contribute to strengthening and ultimately becoming a category two hurricane, which it's forecast to. Right now, those water temperatures about 86 degrees as it strengthens to a category two as it moves into those waters by the late part of the weekend early next week. So we are going to see warmer waters. It's in about 82 degree water right now, but it will get into warmer waters. Now, if we look at where in the Invest 94 L is, it's over Puerto Rico. The water there is even warmer. It's closer to 86, pushing 88. As if those tracks of it follows where those spaghetti models were just showing, it could move into water that's 88 degrees even 90 degrees in some spots, which that is extremely hot uh, water out there, and that would be plenty warm enough for that system to develop as well. Here's that tropical wave again in S 94 L. We can see where those tracks again showing it moving over that warmer water. But again, another look at those sea surface temperatures it would be matching up with that where that warmer water is. But looking ahead at what we're expecting uh, for the next several days, we're still going to watch this one very closely invest 94 L. So we have tropical storm Umberto, but we're still going to keep a close watch on that one, but also going to keep a close watch on invest 94 L. It's still in the yellow shading. The X is where the system is right now. The shaded region is where it's expected to move and further develop, but we are going to see that also going to watch that one very closely as well as tropical storm Umberto. Now looking ahead at where we're expecting to see those next couple of uh, systems. Now we're still in the peak of hurricane season, 
The peak day was September 10th. It began on June 1st. The season will last until November 30th today. So we're still we're past the peak day, but we're still in those peak months where we get the highest amount of activity for both hurricanes and tropical storms. So right now we're right here in the middle, still seeing a large part of activity on average, although this season has been we're a little behind uh, where we would be on average, uh, but for the 2025 season we are beginning to see more of that activity. We'll see that decreasing activity uh, a lot through the month of October, but we're still in September, so that is the peak, one of the pink months. But again, the season will last until November 30th. But we will continue to bring you the latest updates on both Invest 94L and Tropical Storm Umberto over the next several days. And again, I'm meteorologist Brianna Mowry, News 19.